Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Tie Talk with Dan. Cheers. The channel where we talk about everything Thailand. Now, it's Loi Kratong Festival today. So, we're going to have to make lotus flowers and get prepared for it and head over to the lake this evening. So, I'll try and video what I can, but it might be quite dark. Now, the water festival um, is every year. It's very picturesque. Um, so, hopefully, I can get some really nice photos and maybe a bit of video footage and share it with you tomorrow. Now, in today's video, we've had um, a subscriber send in an email to help men all over the world when they come to Thailand. So get ready for his words of wisdom. Let's roll the intro and I'll speak to you again in a second. Welcome back. So, if you haven't already noticed on my channel, there's a lot of men that need advice um, over here in Thailand when they're traveling over here, deciding to come and live over here and getting involved with a Thai woman. A lot of single men that come over to Thailand, try to find a partner here and then aim to settle down and live happily ever after. But you can run into problems. So this email has been sent in from Mark and these are his words of wisdom. Bar Girl 101. My experience is living in Thailand and seeing my mates suffer. How bar girls work for rangs 99% of the time. Many men come to Thailand as they talk to their friends and explain to them how Thailand is wonderful and full of beautiful ladies. That they really know how to take care of a man. They talk about how cheap it is in Thailand compared to their western countries. The food, the drink and the women. They will talk about their exploits of picking up women in the bars or coconut bar on the beach and explain how the bar find system works or how, if you want, you can chat to a lady along the beach, the freelancers or in a department store, at a massage shop and how they had great amazing sex and it won't cost them bar finds or lady drinks and tell them about what these women did that Western, Western women don't or won't do and how they are going back once or twice a year because they have a great chick that looks after them back in Thailand. Many men obviously hear this and if they are single and a little lonely or in a bad relationship or a marriage breakup, the idea of going to Thailand, particularly Bangkok or the beach cities of Pattaya uh, and Phuket sounds very appealing. But what a lot of guys need to remember is that Western men are game to them. So I'd like to tell you a little about my experience living in Thailand and making some rookie mistakes in order to help your viewers without being over cynical and without seeming like I begrudge Thai women that work in this area. So these are my top tips when you go anywhere. Bar, massage, beach, shopping center, or anywhere you might get into a conversation with a sexy lady with a cute smile. These are some of the leading questions you might get asked and you need to be on your game for. These are standard trial clothes questions they all ask, which all sound innocent enough but are actually working a profile on you to see how green, lonely or open for love you are in order to extract money at a later stage. 
where are you from? Obviously, you're a Westerner, and where, you f where you're from might give them an insight to how, t how you treat a lady from your culture. There's a good chance they have been with a guy from your country before, and know if you spend, or if you're probably a little tighter or careful with your money, and generally, your Western attitude towards women and how they're treated in the country you're from. Also, they will know your currency exchange rate, which leads to question two. Is this your first time in Thailand? This is a big one, because this will determine if you know the game and if you understand how the system works here. They will also know that if it's your first time, you'll be more open-minded to splashing money about as your money goes a long way in Thailand, depending on the exchange rate of your country. Next question. How long you stay in Thailand and how long have you been here? This is also the big one, as they will know if you've been anywhere else in Thailand or if you intend to stay in one place. This gives the lady a time frame to work with to put her spell on you. You have lady for the next question. This question lets them know how hard they need to try to get you to spend time with them so you can be their lady. Next one, are you a butterfly? This question will determine if you're a soft touch and if there is a chance that you are going to commit only to them. This is also a big closed question because they know that if you're not a butterfly, you can be manipulated into a Western style commitment of boyfriend, girlfriend setup and also manipulated into giving them money for buffaloes, sick mothers, rent, etc, etc later on down the track. Now, Thai ladies have had to change the game a little because of all these stories and YouTube channels that warn men to be careful of scams and bar girls, etc. So the main game is to get your trust, show you an amazing time, and to get you to think to yourself or say, hmm, she's different. The best way to do this is to not bring up money at all, full stop. Make you believe that giving is your idea and not hers. If you are there for two weeks, she might tell you initially how much it will cost you per day, perhaps as a part of initial negotiations, but it won't be brought up again. If she thinks she can land you and manipulate you into a Western style situation of boyfriend and girlfriend, this is where it all begins. Great sex, obviously. Doing things your girlfriend or wife doesn't or would never do. Offering to pay for some things every now and then. Taking you around and showing you the sights. Walks on the beach and sitting by the pool. All the things you've ever dreamed of in a woman, all coming true. Then you begin to have natural feelings for her and say to yourself, this is the one in 1000 woman that everyone says doesn't exist. Except it doesn't, but you don't know that. You'll swap details. By now you have her line or mobile number, emails, Facebook and the like. And when you go home, you won't be able to stop thinking about the time you had and she'll be communicating with you, keeping those feelings alive, so you'll come back. This is when the money transactions begin. She knows you're a nice man, she knows you have strong feelings, and at first, reasonable and realistic stories of hardships, whether she's tired from working, not interested in other men, can't get a job elsewhere, or leaving the bar because she loves you, and her income is not quite paying the rent. Sick mother, you name it. I've heard it all before. And as a reasonable man who has strong feelings and now currently at home, lonely, and she's the only person you've met in years that's given you attention, 
you've only ever dreamed of, you will decided to meet the needs of her seemingly small money requests of your new love interest. Now what guys need to realize is you are not special and the girls will do this to every visitor that they meet. They are not being malicious, but they are playing the system as a lot of the time, after a while, when their new love returns home and starts sending money, this might last a while or it might last a long time. So they have to keep playing the game till someone decides to get really serious and actually take them back to their own home country for a better life. And that's where a new set of problems begins with cross-cultural relationships, especially if you're not fully versed in Thailand culture, which until you've lived there for a while, you definitely won't be. Now everyone, here's my tips for a great time in Thailand. A. Go there, relax, and sure, you'll get ripped off here and there, but it's five bucks here, ten bucks there. No big deal when you're there for a short one to three week stay. B. Have fun with your lady. Spend money, buy her food, some cheap clothes and knickknacks, whatever. But only give her what you have agreed to at the start. 1,000 to 2,000 baht per day, whatever. But that's it. C. Once you head home, delete line numbers. <coughs> Facebook and any other contacts with her, maybe save her number for when you come back, if she really was special fun. D. Switch yourself back to reality mode and tell your friends what a great time you had. Remember, Thai women or any other woman around the world for that matter, actually even men, go for like-like. So a 20-year-old woman is naturally attracted to a 20-ish year old man. So wake up and remember a 20 year old is not dreaming about a 50-ish balding, fat, smelly Farang as her dream man. It's all about the game. Right, well that was from Mark Kazar who's a subscriber to the channel. Basically sharing his experience, sharing the knowledge that he's accrued from uh, living and spending time in Thailand. So let me know what you think about what he had to say down in the comments. And if you've got anything to add, please add it in the comments also. It's nice for me to share other people's advice um, so you get a different perspective and get different ideas, get a different take on things. It's not just the uh, Dan show. It's about us all working as a group and helping each other out. And that's the aim of the game. So if you've got any tips, you've got any stories, or you want to come onto the channel and tell your story uh, to everybody, then please send me an email, get in contact to tytalkwithdan at gmail.com. Okay, I'm going to get ready for Loi Krotong for this evening. We've got to make these uh, lotus flowers. Uh, the missus normally sells, uh, makes a few more and sells a few as well. Makes a, f a few quid, a few baht uh, on an evening as well because some people are too busy, they're working and they can't make their own lotus flowers. So I'll try and get some footage for you uh, this evening and I'll put it on the channel tomorrow. Have a great day everybody and I'll see you all again very soon.